Hi, I'm Diana Arlandi and I'm pleased to show you my work which is about the change detection technique in order to support the instant surface deformation analysis and especially on the Etna uh, volcano activity in 2021. So in Etna, uh, as you would know, it's uh, one of the most, it actually is the most active volcano in Europe. And since the last December this year, uh, the activity uh, increased a lot, uh, especially with several paroxysm phenomena. So I took the 16th February event where there was a lot of emissions and ash emissions and also lava fontaining. Um, from this event, uh, the volcanic activity increased even more. So uh, all this caused also a lot of damages uh, on the buildings, on the fields, and um, also uh, a lot of ashes on the roofs, on the streets, mm, so many, many damages. Um, so let's say that um, INSAR um, is a technique that it's worldwide no known uh, to be one of the most important to monitor um, the surface deformation. But um, it's not only this, because it's been also uh, useful to um, change uh, detection and also to see the change of the coherence in time. So the object of this work is uh, to take advantage of this potential in order to exploit the change of, of coherence in time, seeing the, the change of the coherence before and after this uh, important event of 16 February 2021. So uh, what I did was basically choosing uh, six days interferograms uh, with uh, five acquisitions. Uh, so basically doing four interferograms and the processing I wrote like co-registration, interferogram formation, the burst, topography removal, multi-look and Goldstein filter are the same that I used for the interferometry except the unwrapping phase. So as you can see here, there are two examples of the coherence map and we have uh, the event, which is the dashed line orange, and we see the before and after coherence map, where we have the coherence that goes from 0 to 1, where we have 0 that is black and is really not, uh, it's really decorrelated, where we have uh, 1, which is white and it's really high correlated. So what I did basically was calculating the ratio and obviously also for a better uh, visualization, the logarithm 10 base 10 of the ratio. So here are my results that I, I, I show with the legends that, are, um, that goes from uh, below 1, uh, it, it means a coherence increase. And above 1, it means a huge coherence decrease. And more or less, it's the same for the log, but except that the limit is 0, that below 0 is a coherence increase, and above 0 is a coherence decrease. So as you can see... Um, uh, the more we have, we go ahead with time, uh, the more we have very uh, changes with the coherence and on the surface. So, for example, in the crater, in the center area, we have uh, a, a lot of decrease of the coherence, and progressively, as we go to the slopes uh, around the crater, we have uh, an increase, uh, a huge increase of the coherence, both in the ratio and in the logs. Here, I report uh, an example. Uh, that we have in the slope in the, in the northeastern part. And um, especially we see um, a complete change of the surface of the coherence and um, going uh, from a part which is decorrelated passing to a part which is a really uh, high coherence um, increase. So my conclusions are obviously that INSAR is a good way either to uh, study deformations and obviously to monitor the surface deformation but also to exploit the changed surface the change of, uh, of the coherence on the surface um, the event of 16 february uh, caused several damages but the thing is that uh, more studies require uh, deeper analysis especially in order to be able to uh, discriminate the presence of snow or lava uh, that are along the slopes Thank you very much for your attention.